Some people planning to vote by absentee ballot are finding a problem. When those ballots arrive in the mail, the envelope holding the ballot or the one you mail back in is already sealed. We wanted to know why this is happening and what to do if it happens to you. WRL's Eric Miller joins us now live with some answers to those questions from election leaders. Eric. Well, Deborah, we're still pushing to learn exactly how many ballots have been affected by this and how many counties this is happening in. But we do know for people who are getting these sealed envelopes, it is very frustrating. It's a sticky problem. But I can't get it fully open. That's impacting voters from Durham County. That's been very concerning. To Chatham County. What do I do with this? And beyond. In an email, Pat Gannon, a spokesperson for the North Carolina State Board of Elections, said one or both envelopes included with absentee ballots are showing up sealed in multiple counties around the state. An issue likely caused by moisture and humidity from Hurricane Helene and other rain events. It's leaving voters like Liz Allen Green lost. It's not a good experience, let's just say that. <laughs> Green took this cell phone video showing both envelopes for her ballot sealed. To the point where we can't really open them without ripping the envelope. And that was very concerning because we're worried that potentially it could be considered tampering or, you know, if the envelope seemed ripped and we put our ballot in there. And the State Board of Elections says if both envelopes are sealed, voters should not rip or cut them open. Instead, they'll have to request a new absentee ballot from their county's Board of Elections. Now, importantly here, if it is only one of those envelopes that arrives stick, uh, stuck or sealed shut, you can cut or tear that open, put the ballot or put the uh, ballot envelope inside and then reseal it. Again, you can only do that with one. You can't do that with both. Election officials say that's important to maintain the safety and security of the absentee ballot process. In Pittsburgh, Eric Miller, WRAL News.